<sighs> well, um, where am I? <sighs> Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tara Quator. Welcome to Saturday, July 27th, 2024, day 209. What are you doing here, Twinkle Toes? I remembered this time. Excuse me, I'm uh, my allergies are acting up right now. Out in town right now, the mosquitoes are out in force. They were they are late to the game. They're finally out. And uh, in the short bit, all I did yesterday evening was uh, deal with trash outside. Didn't take. And I'm not saying people littered our our home. We just I took trash out and stuff like that. Did a little bit of that. And the little bit I did outside yesterday evening. In the little bit I did, I have mosquito bites all over my legs and all over my arms, especially near my joints, like my elbows, my ankles, and my knees. It is not fun. And boy, howdy, they're so angry this year. So are the wasps, because it's been so hot and dry. Pretty sure you've already heard with how hot, and hot dry, and windy it's been, there is a huge fire going on in Northern California right now. And it sounds like the reason why that fire is going on is because some dingbat jerkwad decided to push a flaming car into a gully in Chico. Look it up. It, ha it happened not long ago. And the fire is just getting really, really bad. It's going to be one of their largest ones in California's history, apparently. But yeah, some, some dingbat decided to light a car on fire and push it into a gully. And then he'd snuck off into a crowd. Goes to show that a lot of California's major fires are set intentionally. They have a problem, a huge problem. And that is another huge reason why insurance companies are leaving California. But these are topics I'm not supposed to be talking about here. That's supposed to be when I actually do things on my other channel, like I say I'm going to. I just don't like being angry. I hate it. Ooh, is that a fish tank? Excuse me. Come with me. Uh, where'd my camera go? How did I close my camera? Does it just close weirdly now? Hang on. I do not know what that was. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to check my monitor. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. It just turned my camera off for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, and I discovered something about this world. My The avatar I'm using right now is using my real-life height. Because you can do that now. You can easily adjust your height. Um, apparently, when it comes to Japanese hallways, I'm too tall for them. I didn't think that was possible because I thought I was a painfully average height. Like, I only have this set for... 180 centimeters. I mean, I'm only 180 centimeters. Yet, somehow, I would be... How would I... Me of all people, how would I be bonking my head on a hallway? I've never thought this would be possible. I mean, at least I, I kind of fit over right here, but I don't fit the entryway awning right here. That's an awning, right? Or is that the... No, I don't know. But apparently... um. I'm tall for Japanese hallways? I do not understand this. This confuses me. Because I fit just fine in, in regular American hallways. And I'm not talking the really tall ones really rich people have. I'm talking your average hallway in, in the United States. And apparently there are colliders on this uh, futon down here. There are colliders. So now I'm... Apparently I'm breaking the... Well, you know... Never mind, I'm not breaking the laws of physics. It's VR. I can't even say that. Uh, there's a squishy cat thing that's got really great flinging physics. Not a lot of weight to it. Ooh, potted plant. What's. Oh, yeah, this is just the entry hallway. Oh, that's why. I think I kind of understand now. I forget that their floors are also raised, so it puts your head, like, right against... So th their floors are also raised. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, I mean, right here, it's perfectly fine, but the hallways, that's, a, that's just no-no. Why are their floors raised? 
Because then you'd have to pull it up anytime something go falls through the cracks. Personally, I used to like the idea of wood flooring. Now I just don't. I want carpet. And the reason, of course, is insulation. Carpet's really great for insulating echo. And on top of that, in the winter, these wood floors, because we're on a raised foundation, and they didn't insulate these wooden boards either. All it does is bring all the cold air coming from outside and under the house into our rooms. And it is horrible. But there's not a whole lot going on right now. It's just a regular old Saturday. I, I guess it's a regular old Saturday. I, and the world I went to is called Chirp Chirp. In fact, let me turn this camera off real quick. So the world is literally... Chirp Chirp by Real 340B. And might be small, mighty in heart. And yes, these birds are quite nice. I remember I was doing um, some uh, gardening when I, when I was young. I, w I was still 17. So this was early, early 2006. It, um, I want to say it was... Because I was still living with my dad because I, I was still a minor. I had to have been, I want to say like May or June 2006. I was doing yard work, um, transplanting some jalapeno plants. And one of these types of birds, one that looked a lot like these, just up and flew on my shoulder. I had no idea where it came from. And I pushed the wrong button. Good job, me. I'm great at this. Anyway, but yeah, as I was saying, the bird just randomly flew onto my shoulder. I tried to bat it away, and it flew back onto my shoulder and would hung out there for hours and hours. And I was never really fond of birds, especially at that time. I didn't like birds because all they did was poop on me and try to... Well, look, when I was in high school, we had those really, really mean Canadian geese. Don't need to go into that story. But the bird just kept hanging out on me for some reason, and, and then... After about four hours of it hanging out on my shoulder and stuff like that, it, it just left. It was like, bye, guys. I'm like, oh, okay. That was a thing. They tried to call me Harvey Birdman. My name's not Harvey. <sighs> well, another thing I can point out is I don't have my VR knees right now. It kind of looks like it, but that's because VR chat's gotten really good with their uh, with their assumptive track and what, what do they call it predictive tracking so i do have the trackers i have the elbows because then i can do this no problem whatsoever but it's like all i have to do is point my toe and it bends the knee it assumes i'm bending my knee i don't have my knee trackers on right now because the velcro finally came off my uh my vr shorts Super glue just isn't cutting it anymore. Neither is fire. Neither is, you know, um, what is it? Upholstery glue? I don't know. But I'm, I'm just going to have to take the shorts over to a seamstress or, you know, a tailor and be like, hey, this is a weird one. Can you sew this Velcro onto my shorts, please? Thanks. It's going to be an awkward request. Nice and easy job for them. Get it done and I'll be out. And luckily, I did find a tailor seamstress. I, I did find a seamstress here in my towns. And they're not too far away, so that's that's a really good thing, too. In fact, ugh, excuse me, they're downtown. I mean, and I'm not too far from downtown. I can, I can, downtown is walking distance for me. I could walk there in about probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a good, I want to say it's about a three-mile walk at a, at a decent pace. But I think I might just find a bus next week once we get paid to go and get that taken care of. But I do have my, pri I have priorities first. I've got to take care of Buttercup's uh, school shopping. That's coming up. Got to get her size. Got to get her feet size so she can get some new shoes. Need to get her some shorts, some pants shirts, all that stuff, you know, all the stuff you need. <sighs> I need some new shirts too. And I'm going to need new Velcro again so I can use my VR knees. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Some I guess it's quick and easy to just throw these ones on, but I definitely, definitely miss having my knees. Just because it's extra, I guess extra immersion, but I definitely lose some flexibility. It just it cuts off your knee joint with that pressure and the fact there's now a strap right behind your knee. But there's not a whole lot else to talk about. We're just going to get through this weekend. I am so tired of sugar right now. I'm so tired of sugar. So I am just going to have some chicken fried rice tonight and call it a day. I think I'll have I think I'll have some chicken fried rice. We'll see. It's something with chicken and rice. How about that? <sighs> Maybe sometime soon I can have some tomato soup. I do. Tomato soup is one of my favorite soups. I like tomato soup. I like clam chowder is okay, but tomato soup's definitely like my one of my favorites along with split pea soup. I I have learned to uh, it was in my later adulthood, uh, not later adulthood, but I'd say I was about 20 when I start, started being okay with split pea soup again. There's a story to it, but I don't need to get into it because it's inappropriate and I'm not thrilled with it. It's it's kind of a, okay, fine. It's a source sub, it's a source sub, it's a source subject from my childhood. There. And I don't need to go into details because I've I've spoken about it before, not in this setting, and it's this is just isn't the setting for it. But I have I've definitely taken enough of everyone's time. I'm just getting through day two hundred nine's been kind of I I want to say it's been kind of calm, but oh my goodness, Sweet Pea is learning how to open all of these gates, and it is very difficult to get things done right now. And now she's trying to learn how to get into other things. And she's very rapidly getting into Lilia's makeup in the bathroom. So she's in everything right now. And it's been interesting. There are some laughs there, but there are also some very frustrating moments. Because she'll run around, do all this stuff. And finally, when she sees her her older sister playing games on the couch, is when she decides she wants to be on the couch too and starts kicking her bigger sister. Sibling stuff. Uh-huh. All of that. All that joy. But I think I'm going to blame it all. You know what? I'll just I'll just take the lazy uh, the lazy route here and just say and just blame it on the sugar because we have an overabundance of sugar in this house right now. An overabundance is that's I can't even call that an under it is an understatement. Um I want to, I'm definitely not doing vegan next month, but I'm definitely going to be doing some, like, some low-carb stuff next month. My goodness. <sighs> if I could, I'd be having a lot more quinoa, because quinoa is so, so good. But I can't afford that kind of stuff. Because it was the yuppie class that actually decimated the price of the price of quinoa and a lot of other they even caused the price of couscous to go up why is couscous so expensive couscous is literally just the leftover scraps in the making of spaghetti noodles it's it's literally the scraps of semolina flour that didn't go through the extruder and that's more expensive than spaghetti the leftovers they're like, oh, hey, pe yuppies really like this stuff. Let's make it exp as expensive as possible. I like couscous, thank you. And I'd like to have the prices go back down because there's only one brand they sell right now. And for a tiny little tub that gives you less couscous compared to a box of spaghetti for octuple the price. That's really dumb. Eight times the price for this tiny little tub of couscous compared to just getting a one pound box of spaghetti noodles, which could be like a dollar. I, I don't have an answer for that other than yuppies ruined it. Anyway, I, I that's enough ranting for me. This is Terra Quator on your Saturday, July 27th, 2024, day 209. 
We'll see you all tomorrow on Big Sunday. See you around, everyone. Where, where am I oriented? That way. See ya.